Hello. Well, tonight I'm going to uh, try my hand at uh, weathering some track. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, mix together my own little brew of colors here. I'm going to blend some uh, the Floquel weather Weathered Black and uh, some of the Rail Brown, a little bit of that, and uh, just a little shot of Rust. I'll put mix those together and uh, see if it comes out to the color I'm looking for. I was kind of uh, a little bit surprised that uh, the rail brown that Flocal has is a little bit more of a greenish brown. I probably should have looked at the color chart first, but I guess this is apparently uh, the color of brand new rail um, along the side. So um, that's uh, something I can rectify. Uh, so putting a little black in there. So what you want to do with any of your paints is make sure they are mixed really well. I'm shaking them up a little bit here. Get them all ready. And I'm going to make a small batch uh, tonight because um, I'm just going to be using this little uh, little cup there. Uh, so just going to be weathering one piece of track out in the garage. And uh, if you have a uh, vent available a vented spray booth that is a plus and you could do this inside if not I strongly recommend that you do your spraying outside because even just opening these th things up inside and mixing the paints these things stink to high heaven so but it's warmer inside here so that's where I'm gonna do it let me shake this up a little bit and uh, I'm gonna measure out the amounts actually uh, I had thought of getting eyedroppers but I thought man that would be a pain to clean those and a waste of good eyedroppers and I just thought well hey I've got some cheap straws you know this will probably suffice to get uh, a fairly um, even amount in there just go drop it in put my thumb on top here and just lift the paint out and drop it in there so I figured that would work good enough plus these also make nice cheap little stirrers here so um, just a little tip there. I'm sure somebody else has thought of it, and I'm not the only one. But, uh, hey, for anybody who hasn't, this will work fine. Okay, cover up the top here. I've got the top covered up like that. I'm going to lift some out and just let it drop in. I'm going to do one. I'm going to do two. Maybe I'll do three. Let me see. Okay, there's one. There's another one. Oh yeah, I think that'll probably be enough. All right, I'll tap this, get as much of the paint out of it, because this stuff this stuff isn't exactly cheap. Let me put it this way. Okay, let me lay this over here. I'm gonna do two of black, one of rail brown, and then uh, one half of rust, half the amount of rust. So just a little drop there, a couple little drops, add a little uh, effect, and we'll see how this turns out. Okay, got this. Seal the end off, like that, as you see what I've done there with my thumb. And bring the paint up, and drop it in, just like that. I'm just going to do one. Get that paint off there. The nice things about the straws is that uh, you can go ahead and uh, throw them out when you're done, and uh, it's not like you have to go back in there and clean a bunch of eyedroppers. So that'll be that'll work work out cool. All right, let me do a little bit of rust. Stir this puppy up a little more. Stir this one up, and we'll see what kind of a brew. We get this will lighten it up and give it a little rust colored. Okay, we go ahead and we just go halfway down into the bottle because I don't want to do too much of overkill. Okay, Can tap what's off there. All right, I'll go ahead and close this up and mix this up and see what we got. Ooh. That's not bad. Kind of a dirty, grimy, brownish gray. And actually, I'm thinking it might 
could use a tad more rust in there. It's kind of a grayish, grayish brown. Blackish grayish brown. Let's add a little bit more rust in there. Just a little bit. Go ahead. Do another half. Give it a little bit more rusty tinge. So what I've done is two of this, the weather black, one of the rail brown, and one of the rust for my little uh so I want to try to come up with a consistent recipe so I can keep the colors the same every time. So let me go ahead and shake this up some more. Oh yeah, that's looking fairly good. Okay, now what I want to do, yeah, that's looking about right, what I want for my rail color. A little tad, a little grayish, not quite black. All right. Now, let's go ahead and thin this down. And the proportion, according to the literature I've read, is 75% paint to 25% um, thinner um, for airbrush paint. So I'm going to go ahead and just take one whole tube full and that should get me within the ballpark of what I need. It's not an exact science. I'll put a little bit more here. Okay. Alright, so Got the thinner in there. Let me close that up, make sure this is all closed. Whew, boy! That stuff uh, lets off some scent. Mix that up good. So, okay, people, we are ready to take the spray gun outside and do a little spray painting on some tracks. So, let me go ahead and carry my gear out, and we'll get set up out there. I'll be with you in a moment.